Welcome to Arturia's Matrix Brew at Pitbull. Today, we're going to go through a few of the functions on what the Matrix Brew can bring to you. It's rather deep. It is the arguably the deepest, most powerful analog synthesizer ever made. So let's just take a little trip and see what it's got in it. Okay? A matrix brute is a synthesizer. And in it, we have oscillators that make that sound. And here's one oscillator. We have the choice of what type of wave shapes that we want it to be. If we want it to be a triangle wave or a pulse width, square wave. A sawtooth wave. Each one has its own sonic type of personality with harmonics. And you add all these three together, and you can do an ultra saw or a metalizer, which increases the harmonics. Add the sub, add another oscillator. synthesizer. Now there's one oscillator here, a second one here, and a third one. This is where it can be used as a control function if you like. Then we get into the mixer section. Mixer section is the volume controls of those different oscillators. So this is where I control which one there is. There's also two filters on this synthesizer. A ladder filter which is a standard classic mini Moog, um, ARP, Oberheim, sequential circuits type of design, and then a, our own Steiner Parker design, which Arturi has made famous with the mini brute and the micro brute. So, if we were just to take these two voices and make them go through the Steiner Parker filter, it sounds something like this. If I wanted it to go through the ladder filter, I can do that button push, and now it's coming through the ladder section. Completely different type sound. And two combined, by pressing that, is both filters. We then get into a um, ADSR section, which is your standard VCF and VCA, attack, decay, sustain, release. You've got both of those, plus you have a third envelope which can be used as a source of modulation. Speaking of modulation, the Matrix Brute has an amazing ability to pick from any number of these sources of modulation into any of these destinations. You might ask yourself, well, what good is that? Well, the, the modulation is how you get vibrato. It's how you can do performance effects. So if I were to take, let's say, a aftertouch, and I wanted to modulate that into a pitch, I would press that. Now you can consider this modulation section to be like patch cables. So this is a digital patch bay where aftertouch here is connected to VCO2 pitch there. So there's actually a patch cable that's going from here to here. This is a pretty amazing digital patch bay that's not quite existed like this any, anywhere else before. So what I'm going to do is go through a couple of these presets so that you can get an idea of some of the sonic capabilities of what the Matrix Brute can offer. So first of all, we're going to go through a lead type sound. This is sort of like a mini Mogi. Yes, the 
Matrix Brute also has built-in analog effects that include reverb, stereo decay, uh, mono delay, and chorus, and flanger. So we can go into um, a, a patch which has got a little bit of a breakup on it. So you can do a sequence bass in the bottom. And then I can play something on top. We're not deceiving you. It's a monophonic synthesizer, and I was playing two notes. How did I do that? Well, it's because it has a different type of voice uh, a keyboard scanning mode called dual split, which allows me to have one voice on top and another voice on the bottom. It's very, very handy. There's some cool sounds in here that involve some very uh, interesting uh, drum type sounds. Along with all the other uh, great stuff. We can do a um, little bit more EDM. -y. Then we can do a, a um, lead harmonic. That's 16. Now this is an interesting sound because it's going to bring in a harmonic on the on the pitch. If you listen in clear carefully, you're going to hear the synthesizer hit, then there's going to be this fifth that slides in on the sound, and I have control over that. You take it out. That's a performance control, but when you're actually playing, actually programmed into the actual unit. So if you're going to actually program some sounds from, uh, so I've got a couple in here, which will go ahead and modify so you can see how easy it is. I just take the ADSR. Here how it sweeps and then it stays on there. It's a great sound, great sounding machine. So I explained a little bit about the modulation, and this can be as complex and as creative as you want it to be. If we were to take some of the other patches, and I'm going to show you, let's say, a patch here that's got some aftertouch programmed into it. What you're hearing is the feedback of the actual waveform changing as I press harder on the keyboard. It's, it's pretty outrageous. And again, you have a, co a collection of all these different sources and all these different modulations. So you're in preset mode, there's 256 patches. Then you've got modulation mode, which is, which is your digital patch bay. And then you've got the, that's right, sequencer mode. Very good. So the sequencer mode allows you to have up to 64 step sequences actually in the, uh, in the unit itself. So if we were to go ahead and, well, I'll just start one up. So if we were to take this patch, which I just worked on, okay, and we're gonna go to sequencer, and I'm going to change the sequencer length to eight, and then I'm gonna hit, uh, this is the arpeggiator. I'm going to speed 
that up and we're going to go up and down. It's a really powerful arpeggiator and then if we go to the sequencer, I'm going to go ahead and record. So you get an idea of what the sequencer can actually do. This can be any number of different types of sounds. And if we find a patch on here that's got a big sequencer setup into it, uh, I'll be able to go through, go through there for you. At any rate, I wanted to summarize by saying you've got two oscillators. The third one also has uh, frequency uh, modulation, which is analog. And what does that sound like? Well, that would be more like this. So that's F, analog FM. And then you've got all the modulation per life performance controls that you can use. Uh, these can be subgrouped. Modulation, pitch wheel, glide. You can hold the note. And then you've got no priority in case you, uh, you want to have a uh, top note or lower note. You've got legato, glide, glide setup. We'll take On top of all the sonic capabilities that the Matrix Brute has, you also have all these outputs. Now, what I just showed you on, on the uh, Matrix is the control voltage and gate outputs of these modulations and these destinations. These can go out to an analog modular system as large as you want it to be. This also has the ability to take audio input, as you saw in the video, singing, and it also has MIDI, USB, external pedal control. Um, the analog effects are pretty exciting. I think that uh, I think that this is a quick overview of the Matrix Brute and signing off.